Hi, this is Brian with Webicator. In this video, I'm going to show you a solution Gabriel Levon came up with for detecting mobile devices on the web. Gabriel, Gabriel agreed to let us create this video showing his solution, which is available as an article on his blog at the URL that I'm showing here. Now we're going to use PHP to detect mobile devices. That is, is the incoming request, the HTTP request for the web page that I happen to be putting out, coming from a mobile device. And even better, Gabriel shows us how we can use this mobile detect library, a free open source PHP library to not only detect if it's mobile, right? Is it a mobile device, a smartphone, but also what kind of mobile device is it? Is it a tablet? Is it an Android? Is it an iOS device? So as you can see here, and I'm not going to go through the actual post, which I encourage you to read in detail because it's very useful. But here in this post, Gabriel talks about how we can use this mobile detect library. And if you click through to the mobiledetect.net page, you can download this library. In fact, if you wanted to, from this page, you can find the GitHub repository, and you can follow changes, keep yourself up to date. Seems to be a quite well-maintained library. As you can see, there's a fair bit of activity. And if you wanted to, you could subscribe here. You could uh, use this GitHub library to make sure you keep up to date with recent developments and leverage the quite generous work that these folks put out to keep up to date with developments in the mobile world, right? As new devices come out, uh, this library is updated. So you could leverage that and, and keep yourself in, in good standing with your apps. So as you'll see, if you take a look, there's some code here, which I've downloaded. So I've built a little project. This index.php page, a PHP template, that I'm using pretty much mimics what the library, what the blog post puts out. And you notice here on the left hand side, it's a little hard to see, but I've downloaded that mobile detect library. I've left the version name on the directory name, mobile detect 2.8.15. And it comes right from what I downloaded here. If I downloaded this, you can see mobile-detect-2.815.zip. I could download it, load it. Of course, I could go through Git as well if I wanted to maintain that repository on my end. Now, once I do that, the only thing I really need to do is on line three to make use of this library is this require once statement. So it's the PHP let's include something else in our template statement. And on line three, I require once mobile-detect-2.8.15, specifically the mobile underscore detect.php file. Now, once I do that, require that mobile underscore detect.php file, the rest of it comes in. I don't have to require anything else. I don't have to do any other configuration setup. It's self-consistent in that requiring that one file brings in all of the other goodness of that library. After that, as you can see, I can use a series of Boolean functions, right? Functions which return true or false to give me information about the request that's coming into my page. Now you can see on line four that I instantiate, a very cool word, instantiate an object of class mobile underscore detect dollar sign detect equals new mobile underscore detect. Now I could have called this anything. I could have called this D, so long as when I use it later, I reference it as D. But detect works fine, meaningful and easy to scan. So once I've on line four, rigged up one of these mobile underscore detect objects, namely what I'm calling detect, I can use it. As you see on line seven, I can check to see is the incoming request coming from a mobile device? That is, if detect uh, dash greater than is mobile. You can see on line 12, is it a tablet? If dollar sign detect is tablet. 
The open and close parentheses after each of these class methods imply that they are in fu indeed functions. And I'm using is mobile, is tablet, is on line 22, is iOS, is Android OS on line 26, etc. So the code that I have in index.php mimics very closely what Gabriel has presented here as this example of content that I can use this sort of uh, starter template for mobile detect, right? So he's very kindly, very generously given us this example. And I took it here and used it to rig up a quick example. And then I, I built a little bit more extended example, mostly differing from the first example, just in that I'm echoing to the screen, I'm printing to the screen some information. So you'll notice that on line seven, if dollar sign detect is mobile, well then echo to the screen mobile. And also for all these, you'll see on line nine say, I echo a horizontal rule, just so I can see this a little more clearly, just so that on the page as it presents itself to me as I'm looking at it as a user, I get some separation between the individual pieces. So index-extended.php, say on line seven checks to see, is this a mobile device? And then on line eight prints to the screen mobile. Of course, if it's not a mobile device, then it would not print to the screen mobile, right? That's the basis of an if statement. So I can use my iOS simulator here. So it's an emulator. It's not a real iOS device on my Mac, but it'll serve the purpose here. And you notice that I get mobile, mobile but not tablet, iOS, iOS, and eight underscore four. Well, let's see where those come from. First off in line eight, that echo mobile is what I'm seeing the very first mobile when I look at the emulator. It does not, when I visit it through my uh, emulator, my iPhone emulator, on line 14, tablet does not get printed to the screen. No tablet, appropriately, right? Because an, IO, an iPhone emulator is not a tablet. But on line 20, I do get mobile but not tablet printed here. A little bit farther down, on line 26, I get that iOS. You also notice there's a little bit different syntax on line 41. Detect arrow is, right? Just a little bit different way to say is iOS. On line 41, I'm saying is parens iOS and print to the screen iOS on line 42. You notice a little farther down here too, I can go farther, I can go more granular and get the version of the iPhone, say on line 53, right? Detect the version of the incoming device. You can also switch the hardware to change, say, to an iPad Retina. And if I open up that same page, you'll notice here I'm visiting the same page, namely index-extended.php. And if I open that up a little bit and put it on the screen so you can see a little bit better, mobile, tablet, iOS, iOS, eight underscore four, that bottom one being the version, right? So here the mobile and tablet, the first two lines that are printed are in line eight, is mobile, is successful. On line 13, is tablet, is successful. Line, let's see, I don't get the mobile but not tablet on line 20 appropriately because an iPad, of course, is a tablet. So we've just scratched the surface here, of course, right? One could use this in much more interesting ways, say to customize downloads. If you wanted to present download files on a page based on the user's iOS or excuse me, operating system, whether it be Android or iPhone. If I wanted to customize the presentation of sidebars on the server side, certainly could do it in responsive CSS fashion with media queries, but I might do it here on the server side to also build a custom view for folks depending on the visitors, how they're coming in to our web pages. So thanks again to Gabriel for the inspiration for this video. I'd encourage you to check out his blog here at this URL that we looked at before, and certainly to look at some other articles on his blog related to the same topic of detection of mobile devices.